Hello team, welcome back. Welcome to the Docker for DevOps training. And in this particular lecture, we are going to discuss about the CLI monitoring of containers. So today we are starting the advanced section of the containers. Over we will learn about the CLI cell scripting of the containers. We will see the networking concepts of the containers. And then we will see how we can monitor and inspect the containers. So today we are going to learn how we can basically monitor the containers with the help of command line. So this lecture is all about to CLI monitoring and inspection of your running containers. So we will see what's going on inside my running containers like how many resources are being consumed, what resources are being consumed and what processes are running inside my running containers. So very first we will start a simple command docker container top. So basically the docker container top will list you the processes which is running inside your containers. So let's see on the terminal that how docker container top will work for my container. So I'm on my terminal and I have logged in inside my docker machine which I have created over the cloud, right? If you are using your local then you just need to go to your terminal. On my terminal I will execute a command docker container ls press enter so you can see nothing is being returned. It means no container is running on my machine, right? So first I will start a container on my machine. So very first I will start the nginx on my machine. For this I will execute the command docker container run hyphen d for the detach mode. dash dash name and I will name it proxy web server then I will call nginx my image name Now you can see a container is running. Now if I will execute a command docker container ls so I will get the running container the image is nginx and name is proxy web server which I just provided to my container. Now I am going to execute a mysql on my machine. Now let's execute a command docker ps or you can execute a command docker container ls and you will get nginx container is running and the name is proxy web server I just provided to my nginx server. Now I will start another container of mysql. So I will execute a command docker container hyphen d hyphen hyphen name and I will call it mysql db then hyphen hyphen env to pass the environment variable and environment variable name would be mysql underscore random underscore root underscore password equals to true and then I will pass my image name which is mysql. Hit enter and it is saying this error with the hyphen d. Okay, I forgot to mention the command run. So I will execute the command docker container run hyphen d. Right, this is a silly mistake I did. Just press enter and it will return you the container id. I will clear out my console. And execute the command docker container ls. See, I am getting two containers running on my machine. One is mysql and another is nginx, right? The container name of the mysql is mysql db and the container name of nginx is web proxy server or proxy web server. Now we will see how we use the docker container top. 
so we will execute the command docker container top after this either you can provide the container name or you can provide the container id first let's start with the container id so suppose i am providing the container id of the nginx right hit enter and it will show the two process are running this is the process id right and two process are running in the nginx container the first is nginx master process and another is nginx worker process so with the help of the top command we can verify how many processes are running inside my container right in the same way if i would like to know the how many processes are running with my mysql db then i will execute a command docker container top and i will replace the container id or i will enter the container name right so it will show you the processes running inside your mysql db container so only one process is running on your mysql db container and the process id is 3952 so this is the way how can we verify that how many processes are running inside my running container let's see how we can inspect the container so suppose we want to get the details or the configuration details of any running container then how can we inspect or how can we get the configuration detail of running container so for that we will use the command docker container inspect right and if you want to run the command docker container stat it will provide you the performance of the running containers so let's start and get the details of both of these commands docker container inspect and docker container stats right so we'll go to our terminal clear out my terminal and first i will execute a command docker container inspect and suppose i want to know the uh, inspect the running container which is proxy web server this is my nginx server okay and web proxy web server is the name which i just provided to my nginx server i will hit enter and it will show you the running details of your nginx server see a complete json is being printed over here right once i executed a command a complete json is being printed over here see this is a very very long json which is being printed over here and this json will provide you the complete information of your running container right so over here the very first is the id this is the container id right and then we are getting the created the date and time stamp where that particular container is being created and the path and it is saying that it's nginx the status is running running is true paused false restarting false and there is a lot of lot of things like the process id as well and started at finished end and what image actually it is being used and what are the path inside the containers where the files are being located right so you can get all the details over here right what is the name of the container which is proxy web server right and here a lot of lot of information like network is default we will learn about it in the coming lectures a very very long details are being getting we are getting over here right so basically when we want to debug a container we need this command right to debug a container right so docker container inspect will provide you the configuration details of your running container right in the same way if you want to get the config if you want to get the configuration detail of mysql you can execute the command docker container inspect my sql db which is my container name if you want you can provide the container id as well just hit enter and it will show you docker container inspect okay there is a typo error right and hit enter see a complete json is being printed for the mysql as well right if we go through the complete json then we will get the details so this is the container id right after that it is getting the created date after that the path right which is this the arguments which is mysql id 
and in the same way you will get the name of your container you will get the restart count you will get the platform somewhere you will get the networking mode somewhere else you will get the port as well so there is a lot of lot of configuration information is basically available when you execute a command docker container inspect and then you pass the ins either the container name or the container id so with the help of the inspect command we can get the configuration details of the running container right this will not provide you the configuration details of the stopped or exited containers okay this will only provide you the configuration details of the running container so let's clear out the console now suppose you want to know uh, you want to check the status the performance or the memory or you can say the resource consumptions of your container then you can execute a command docker container inspects oh sorry stats docker container stats hit enter and it will give you the complete details or the resource consumption which is being used by your containers so the only drawback with the status or the sorry with the stat commands is it will give you the container id instead of the container name so with the with the help of the id it is hard or uh, basically which container is being running but in the earlier version this was the problem but in the newest or latest dockers we are also getting the name right with the version i think with the version 16 dot uh, the version which is prior to the 16.0.8 there was the problem with the stats command it will not show you the name of the containers but with the latest versions of the docker the issue is resolved it will show you the container id as well as the container name so you so that you can get which container is consuming uh, what uh, what what amount of resources right so you can see mysql db is consuming 0.45 or 47 cpu and the memory uses is close to 400 mb right and limit is about 2 gb right it is using 18.36 memory right and here is the input output here is the process id and the second container which is nginx it is using almost 0% cpu and 1.3 megabyte memory only right so with the help of the stats you can get the containers static st st statistics data right so this is all about today in the coming lectures we will learn how we can basically enter inside the containers and execute some shell commands so that's all for the day thank you guys thanks for your time